Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. In this video, we'll be looking at the Network Days function in Excel. This is very useful, uh, especially for a um, profession in HR and human resources to work out the number of work days between two dates. Um, so let's say, for instance, that you have the origin, the, the starting date, let's call it first of January 2012, and you want to work out uh, the end date is the 31st of the 12, 2012, and you want to work, know how many work days there are between those two dates. Uh, the function in Excel is equal net work days, and then what you need to put in is the start date, which will be the value that we plugged in into cell A5, the end date, which is the value that we plugged in in cell B5, and we press, we close parentheses, and there you go. There are 261 workdays between those two dates. Now, of course, there there will be some holidays, some public holidays. So, how do we um, take into account of those? Basically, we we what I have done as an example, I've created a list of holidays, and this basically you can build your own. Uh, list of public holidays in your country. So I just put in three dates here as an example. And so what we do, we type again net work days and start date will be the same, end date will be the same. And then what you need to do is to basically plug in the range where you've built your list of holidays. So in this case will be from B4 to B6 on this particular uh, worksheet. Close parenthesis. There you go. Because I plugged in three holidays in that range, now the net result is that okay, Excel believe or Excel tells me that there are 261 workdays between uh, the 1st of January 2012 and the 31st of December 2012, but I've told Excel there are three holidays there so the net result there are 258 work days um, in that particular stretch of time. 